Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are doing good. And you might have learned the different tools which I have been explaining in my previous videos. And today we'll be seeing how to save an pivot stick figure project, which we make it. Plus, I'll be sharing a few of the funny stick figure uh, animations which have been made around by your seniors, like the previous batch students who will have done these things. I hope you'll enjoy this video. So before we start up, let us just revise what all we have learned in our previous class. We have learned about adding figure. How do we add and figure in pivot animation? Then we have seen how do we add backgrounds, then about duplicate figures, then flipping the images, deleting a figure, ra raising and lowering an images, adding sprites to your sprite image to your animation. And then opacity, yes, this is the opacity which you're able to see on your screen, means making the pivot stick figure transparent, right? Transparent. So let us just start how to save. See, whenever we create anything, right? Last year also we did in a uh, tux paint, right, children? What, whenever we create any project, any animation, or we write something, or we do any type of work in our computer, we have to save it, right? If we want to, if we want to uh, see our work again and again, or we want to keep it in our computer system so that we can use it in future, for that, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to save our work, right? Whatever work we have done in our computers, we are supposed to save that. So here, what are we doing in Pivot Stick Figure? We are actually doing animations. So once you create an animation, once you create your story through your animations, you are supposed to save it so that you can revisit whatever you have done it plus if you want to imagine you have done some project and it is incomplete, you are supposed to do some more work on that. So whatever portion you have created, whatever part you have created, you're supposed to save it, right? So that the next time when you are working on that one, it should be available for you on your computers, right? So for that, what are you supposed to do? As I said, we are supposed to save our animation. What are we supposed to do? We are supposed to save our animation. So how are we going to save it? To save your animation, we are supposed to click on file menu. I'll just minimize this one for you. Okay, I was working on an animation wherein I wanted uh, to show some basketball. I was working, I'll just let you. So I have done half work over here. Okay, I have done a half work here. So I want to save this. How should I to save your animation? Click on file menu. Where is my file menu? See here, can you see here? Okay. On pivot animation, can you see here? File menu, my, please follow my mouse pointer children. See here, blue color it is below this pivot animator in our menu bar, we have first option called file click on that, do a left click. So when I do a left click, this chart will open and you're supposed to click on save animation. Click on save animation. So once you click on save animation, save as dialog box will open. This particular box will come up. So select the place where you want to save. You want to save on desktop, you want to save in libraries, you want to save in this PC, in any of the folders. So let us try out for desktop. Okay, and on desktop, I'm saving my file. I'll give the name as class to animation. Okay, so whatever name you want to give, you have to write here. Can you see your file name here? On the left side of this box, you are supposed to click the place where you want to save. If you want to save on desktop, click on desktop. Come to this portion down here. It says file name, correct? Can you see here? It says file name. So here you are supposed to write the file name which you want to give. It can be your name. It can be your class name, whatever. Your file, your choice, right? 
you can give your file name here and then click on the button save so this pivot animation gets saved under your name yes and save as enter the file name click on save button the stick figure are saved it dot piv extension what is the extension for uh, pivot now what do you mean by extension children what do you mean by extension it is the short form of your software name for application what do we call app 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 right this app that app mobile has so many apps so we what do we call it as apps so app is a short form and actually we call it as application okay let us not get into computers uh, let us talk about what is the full form of evs when i say read your evs or open your evs textbook do you open english textbooks no what which textbook do you open you will open your environmental science right the full form of evs is environmental science so how we have short form right how we use a short form evs then for english we use eng correct for english we use eng the same way for pivot stick figure your file name is having dot pvc i'll just show you here i am searching for your class 2 animation on my desktop now can you see on the screen what it is it is class 2 animation dot piv with looking at dot piv i can make it out this is a pivot project this is an pi white project now i'll take one more project okay so i have two files here can you see print it is w means it is a word document correct now when i come here if i click here it is dot piv so this is an animation file so what what is the help of this dot pvi extension it helps us to understand which software it is so what is that extension of pivot animator it is dot pv piv so whenever you see any file in your computer which is saved under your name and it is its extension is dot piv then we can understand that that particular file is a pivot stick figure file pivot animation file right so this is what is all about our pivot animator how do we save it let us actually recapitulated click on files then this list will come appear in front of you and then from there you are supposed to click on save animation or save as then your save as dialog box will appear in front of you from left side select the place you where you want to select where you want to save your file if you want to save your file in any of the other folders imagine you want to save it either in c drive you can save it you have to select the place where you want to save it either on the desktop and whatever file name you want to give it here let me take my name prem lata can you see here save as type it says dot piv by default computer will put dot piv we are not supposed to put dot piv dot piv extension will be given by the computer itself and i have to click on this one and click on save button my project will get saved now let us quickly revise what all we have learned in this chapter so the gray area which you are able to see here stage is a blank plane on the gray background so whatever this plain background right this white color plain area is called as stage which is with this dotted box right which is present on this gray background on this gray background this white color portion which you are able to see is known as stage area background can be added to an animation let me do it once more for you file and for background what are we supposed to do click on file select load background and from here 
you can select the background let me add some background over here go to c drive i'll go for d drive i have image pictures Where's mm, pivot animator? Yes, it is here. Go to background. So I'm going to take a park background. See how the park background got added, right? What did I do? I'll click on files, load background, and from your computer system, your whichever background you want to put children, first you have to sell, keep that background ready on your computer system, right? This is how you do it. Duplicate figure is nothing but this pivot man, I want to add a duplicate of it. Can you see here on the left side? Go and click on duplicate. Create an exact copy of current figure and adds it in the editing area. So here, this is your editing area. Here it will be added. Flip, flip is nothing but 180 degree rotation. So I, this is my active pivot man. So I'll make it as a flip, see? Yes. Sprites are the images that can be moved around. So whatever sprite I'll take it, I can move it around here and there using the origin handle. Opacity is lack of transparency in the object. So whichever object you're selecting, you can actually reduce the opacity. See here, so with this scale in the selected, selected figure control, figure control, you can just scroll up and down and make your pivot man disappear transparent and one last thing pivot saves with an extension called p dot piv now it's a time to see our video see here now we are going to visit a pivot animation video see how the pivot stick figure videos we can make it a funny video it is See how the two pivot stick men are actually interacting to each other. Such kinds of videos can be made on our pivot animator. Children, we do have such kind of pivot animation stick figure also available. It is not just, we will be learning how to do those kind of things 